doing your react to attack the feature right first. Attack of the 50 foot Veronica! She's big, she's beautiful, and she's deadly! Cute scientist. Cute norm, giant woman. This babe is taller than King Kong in heels! It's not A King Kong reference, I mean. She mad enough to handle the brazen brunette with a size 60 shoes? Attack of the 50 foot Veronica! Okay, I love you. I love you. Get the lid back on. Sorry Good. for the interruption. Huh? Sorry for the interruption. Well, let's continue reacting. Who is gonna crack the case? Oh, Jesus! Dilton, it doesn't make sense. Giant broccoli? Well, not just broccoli. Also lettuce, apples, rutabagas, kumquats, green beans. Yes, yes, fruits and vegetables. I get it. But why make them big? Think how many gallons of juice you could get if this orange was ten times bigger. Think how much easier it would be to pick one large orange instead of a hundred little oranges. Um, it'll make it oh, like H.G. Wells' Food of the Gods. We could feed the world. Dilton, that's a great idea. Cool how idea. true. And it's all possible thanks to my new growth ray. You mean nice it... Nice growth ray, Dilton. Actually works? We'll know in about one minute. Then give it the gun, Algernon. Bigger is better. So, uh, when do they start growing? Dang frizzle frazzle fooey to the nth degree. I failed. It was a nice try anyhow, Dilton. Come on, I'll buy you a burger. According to my calculations, the growth rate should have been phenomenal. Burger. Uh, uh, my appetizer. Thanks, Pop. Come back in five minutes and I'll order my main course. He's an absolute slob. No, he's just Jughead. So have you finished your guest list for your big pool party? Yes, indeedy. So who'd you invite? Well, not Jughead, that's for sure. How can you say that? He's part of our group. I'm not sure he's part of our species. Cool. Look at him, he's a total outsider. Veronica. Look, he hangs out by himself. Well, yeah. He can't get a date. Well, yeah. He eats too much. Well, yeah. He dresses funny. Well, yeah. So he's different. What's wrong with different? It bothers people. Veronica will be beautiful as a giant. And I don't want him scaring off my guests. That's a crummy attitude, Veronica. How would you like it if people thought you were different? But I'm not. That's why everyone adores me. 326. Time for a snack. Jughead, hi! Come on in. I was just.
There's Betty. Making a cake for Veronica's pool party tomorrow. Oh, oh dear, I forgot. You're not invited, are you? I'm sorry. No, Biggie. Need a hand? Sure. It's a chocolate cake, and it's just rising. Don't open it! There's the kitchen. This is a very delicate time. Cold air makes a cake fall. Cool, yes. So look through the window instead. Wow, Jughead. How do you know this stuff? Hmm. When it comes to food, I'm an expert. Oops, I left the icing out in the car. Be right back. It's a joint bug. is the Dynasty's Hercules, and it was only 7.48 inches. Archie! Balloons! Yes, yes, just one more minute. Well, I'm not sure, but there's something I don't have a look on. I don't see the actual bug, but I'm not excited about it. Uh-oh, is Veronica going to become a giant? So I was just wondering if your growth ray was somehow connected with that bug. I seriously doubt it, Archie. You saw for yourself. It had absolutely no effect on those vegetables. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, it was worth a try. Come on, Archiekins. Okay, Veronica. Well, thanks anyway, Dilton. No problem, Archie. All right, Veronica, let's... Have you got on high heels? You man, always feeling so inferior. Well, bye, Dilton. Hello, Fresco Fashions? Yes, this is Veronica Lodge. You know, the daughter of your biggest client, Hiram Lodge? That's right. Well, this Valari original you sent over for my date tonight is shrunk. What do you mean I might be putting on weight? What cleaner did Smithers send my clothes to? They all shrunk. <gasps> it's Archie. What am I going to wear? I thought you told me to dress up. What's with your dad's jogging suit? I uh, wanted to be comfortable. When did you lower the roof of your car? What? Just drive. Huh? I think going to be a giant monster in three soon. Thank you. 
What a dumb movie! Giant monsters? Ha! Uh, uh, uh. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Why? Uh, you just seem, well, uh, less petite than before. No, it's the same old me. See? Oops! Kurt got Betty, what are you doing? Scaring off bugs. Veronica's giant Veronica scumming better run. I told you, Animal Control captured that giant beetle yesterday. Yeah, well, I'm not taking any chances. It doesn't make any Oh no, giant Veronica is coming this way. Better run fast. Sense. My weird mysteries are supposed to be ghosts and monsters. Not about giant girlfriends. Betty, that's it. Giant girls? Giant bugs? I've got to find Dilton. I don't... Archie's gonna find Dilton. I know anything about giant girls, but Veronica bugs me big time. So do you think there's a connection between the giant bug and Veronica getting taller? Well, after doing some tests, I've discovered this machine doesn't work on non-animal objects. You know, pencils, ceiling tiles, vegetables. However, it does seem to work on creatures. And if there was a beetle hiding in there, the ray would have made him bigger. So that means it could have worked on Veronica too, right? But wait, you didn't use the ray on her. Correct. Though after you two left here yesterday, I did find the machine had been left on. Left on? Left on? Veronica must have done that. Quick, her pool party starts in an hour. Come on! Whoa! Uh-oh. Veronica's bumming. Veronica's bumming. Look at this food, Dilton. Jughead would go wild over it. Why isn't he here then? Uh-oh, giant Veronica's coming this way. You better run fast or she's gonna get you. Veronica didn't invite him. Said he was too different. <laughs> Hi, everyone. That's not an earthquake. That's John Veronica. <gasps> Enjoying yourselves? Forgive the strange fashion statement, but my swimsuit seemed to have shrunk, so I sewed them all together. Cool, Veronica. Cool, giant Veronica. Archie was right. She's gigantic. Veronica, are you... All right? Of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, who's up for a swim? Oh, it's the pool. Wow. <laughs> they need to put more water in these pools. Oh, 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 no. Not again. She's experienced. It's an earthquake. Sing another explosion of growth. It's an earthquake. Staring at. Stop staring! I'm the same as always. Oh no, oh no, it's giant Veronica. Run! But 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 you're not Veronica. Can't you see you've changed? You're different now. You're giant Veronica now. I'm not different. You're different. <laughs> To a tree. Oh, my party's not good enough for you, huh? Well, no one snubs Veronica Lodge.
dangerous combination. When will she return to normal? For all I know, Veronica will keep getting bigger and bigger. I don't buy that, Dilton. Let's go back to the lab and figure out an answer. <laughs> Fresco's fashions. Here's my chance to get even with those hacks. If I can't wear a size 7 anymore, then nobody will. Besides, who cares about these stupid fashions anyway? I do. <laughs> Look at that lovely fabric. And that little belt! <laughs> huh? Hey, easy on the tears. I may not be Gene it's Kelly, scary. but I could try dancing in this downpour if you want me to. Jughead? Hello, girlzilla. How are things in Tokyo? Everything's terrible. I scared my friends. I destroyed public property. The Pentagon will probably arrest me. <laughs> and worst of all, none of my nice clothes fit. <laughs> I feel like that monster in that dumb movie. Nobody will come near me. <laughs> I'm near you. Huh? That's right. Why are you here? Well... I was out for my evening think, and I'm not about to let some giant spoil my routine. Evening think? Sure. I walk around town by myself and contemplate all sorts of things, like why papers burn up but houses burn down, or why if he is a him, why isn't she a shim? You do this every night? Pretty much. So what were you thinking about tonight? I was thinking how you, being an oddball, makes me look normal. And I'm not sure that's so good for me. Me? An oddball? Sure. Look, getting a date would be pretty tough for you now, huh? Well, yeah. I have to admit, you can eat way more burgers than me. Well, yeah. You dress funnier. Well, yeah. And here you are, hanging out all by yourself, right? Ooh. Well, yeah. So you become the oddball instead of me. Oh, no. I'm different. Relax. It's not so bad being different. Look at me. Sure, it's lonely sometimes, but it also lets me be myself. But I'm not myself. I'm a freak. No, you're Veronica Lodge in a size 107 dress. Now chill out. Together, us oddballs will figure out a solution. <sighs> Come on, Dilton, think. You've got to save Veronica. But it's impossible. The ray wasn't designed to... Whoa! <laughs> Veronica's headed this way. Help! She's mad at me for inventing that ray. No, she's not. I'm king of the world! Jackie's king of the world? Evening, gents. Nice night for a stroll, eh? Wow! How'd you find us? Veronica realized that ray is probably what made her enormous. Big boned. Sorry, big boned. So we thought this was a good place to start. The police! Oh, no! Do you think they're after me? No, I'm sure they're after some other 50-foot giant who tore the roof off a clothing store. Give me a boost. Uh-oh. Looks like the National Guard have joined the hunt. Have they got guns? Nope, no guns. Cannons! Ooh, do something. You heard the lady. Get that machine working. We've only got a couple of minutes. But this ray can only enlarge things. There's no way to reverse the polarity. I'm afraid this machine will never make Veronica smaller. <sighs> oh. Then we need a better answer, Dilton. Huh? But I've checked every book I know. I can't think of another way. Chill, Dill. What do you mean, chill? You know, chill out. Like a blast of cold air on a cake in an oven. 
Jughead, that's it. Cold air causes the bubbles in cake batter to pop and deflate. If I can zero in on the amino acids in Veronica's growth cells, I can weaken their molecular bonds, thereby decreasing the space between the molecules. In English, Dilton will deflate Veronica like a cake. Hand me that coil. You okay, Veronica? Yeah. Sorry I threw you across the yard, Archie. Can you forgive me? Hey, you were upset. I'd probably feel the same way if I were in your shoes. I'm not even in my shoes. <laughs> Jughead, your idea was genius. How did you come up with it? He's different than everyone else, so he thinks differently. Right, Jughead? It's no big deal. Yes, it is a big deal. Take it from someone who knows big. Hey! Let me thank you. Mwah! You. This is why I hate kissing. Oh. <gasps> Hurry! They're almost here! Repair to DN Large! Go Shoot! To... Oh. Oh. oh no! This means every Halloween, the same costume! Statue of Liberty! Definitely. Have faith, Veronica! Dilton's inventions always work! <laughs> Usually. It's no use! I'll be forever stuck as a giant! It worked! Huh? I'm a size 7 again! Hey, did you get huh? see a giant go by here? Huh? I think she went that way! pool party next week? Yes. Only on one condition. That you don't eat all the burgers. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> and so all's well that ends well. Dilton returned the giant beetle to normal size. Veronica returned to her closet full of clothes. And Jughead returned to his true love. Arch, do you think Dilton's ray could make a 50-foot hamburger? <laughs> Without Jughead's oddball thinking, Veronica would still be a giant today. I wonder if she'll think twice before she pokes fun at someone who's different. Okay. Hmm, probably not. So, what do you think of my new fashion statement, guys? Well, well it's, it's different. different. So big problems are little. Life goes on in a little town called Riverdale. Deek. In the bed logo, there's Buena Vista Castle. <laughs>